Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> this video kept getting sent to us a while back and now. Uh, and there's been a ton of concerts in the Philippines lately, of course, like Coldplay went uh, a few few months ago, late 2023, the cause went, which I think they're actually Irish. Yeah, Ireland. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're Irish, yeah. Um, they were very popular in the early 2000s. They were though. damn popular. They're yeah. in every karaoke machine you can ever f***ing imagine. So like the three girls that were being super sexy in the video. Yeah, remember this. So they went to the Philippines, right? Naturally. And given the fact that they're in every karaoke machine, but Leska hasn't seen this. I've seen a few bits of this. This happened. Yeah, nah, free job. Free gig. She's in fantastic shape. Can we have a moment for that? Especially that's 50. She looks so good. Oh, what banger. Oh, it freaking, sounds like she yeah, has layers yeah, on, but it's the crowd. Oh my god. Look at her looking around. <laughs> I got goosebumps, bro. So I'm gonna cry, what the fuck? Also, this song makes you wanna cry naturally. so much man oh my god what a show yeah you don't remember this band they were so popular for this oh, the fact that they're still going what the fuck that is so cool Dude, i they, actually I, love that i thought they me. came out like in 90s in the 90s no in the early 2000s it was really popular in like 2002 2001 but 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 dude i swear i was guys. this close to like a tear coming out of my eye and me saying i'm not crying it's just tear f water's flowing it's just my eyeballs are sweating Mate, it's so hard Look, I, I don't ever want to be like, uh, for artists, like being an artist is like really difficult because it's like, it is, but it isn't. It's like, shut up, mate. Would you rather be like, you know, scrubbing the floor? Of course not. You sing for a living, you dickhead. But, at the, but on the other hand, it's like, it's so difficult in so many levels, like yes. mentally, psychologically, artistic personalities are really peculiar people. They don't find the things that someone like me would find easy, easy they find the things that I would find difficult easy. Um, they handle with peculiar scenarios in their life, such as fame and notoriety and constant ideas, and their brain does not let them rest. And then on top of that, you add an immense amount of pressure, and then you add money, and then you add a machine, and labels, and contracts, and you know, an entourage, and people that you're responsible for, and you're the brand, You everything relies on you, so your knees better not crumble. And it's like, and then you have to go do this and connect with a piece that made you feel at the time immensely vulnerable. And it's then become instead of this love letter or this this page of your diary, it's become into a commercialized, McDonaldized cheeseburger. Yeah. And, and not only that, but in that you have years and years of of a gap between when they first came out, the the received uh, the perceived notion of what it was and how people made an anthem out of it. And then years, like I'm talking 30 years later, you get to sing it in front of a crowd and the crowd sing it, sings it back to you? Thousands wow. and thousands of kilometers away from where you were birthed. That song reach, reaches... That. The and emotional uh, the, the emotional impact of that. Is and it touches generations. Guys, are you watching this? That's it, I've made it. Fuck your Oscars and your Grammys. No, this is it. This is the ultimate accomplishment. Oh, yeah, no, I also would be crying, girl. Oh, nice, Viking vocalist. Damn, yeah, man, take that in. <laughs> Sounds like they have a choir. It is, it's just the crowd. It's...
they look so good as well. Yeah, like, they look unbelievable. Love with these women. Oh, she passed up. Also, what a place to happen because they're actually in tune. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's literally like a choir is singing it back. Wow, she's on her knees, man. You won, man. Shout out to his back to her backing vocalist. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. <laughs> also, what the fuck? She looks unreal. She looks incredible. Dude, ecstatic. Such luminosity in this moment, so you can like it's literally so contagious. Bro, what in the heck? Fuck me. What in the heck? Also, this this song, this song feels hits different. When it came out, it was like you know, it became a thing. It did become a huge thing. Yeah, I just just look at them living their best lives. Fucking hell, I didn't know they were that popular known? in the Philippines. Who would have known? I know they were super popular all across the world. But... It's always like that. You never you never know. In the Philippines, there's like anthems and like legends that in the rest of the also, world are like, huh, okay. So the Philippines is the best life crowd. I agree, 100%. Oh, I would be overwhelmed too. I think it's the Are Ara Araneta. I think ah, it might be the Araneta. Yeah, so it's... The fuck? That was the intro? Oh, that's crazy. Smart. Yeah, shoe flat shoes, yeah, I saw that in the first video. So I don't think she could believe, because she has the in-ears, so she can kind of hear a little bit of what's going on on the outside. But it genuinely sounded like she had layers on at yeah, one point. Yeah, it did. I genuinely thought... At and that's why she took it off, because I don't think she could fucking believe what was going on. She's like, guys, what? Where is what? that coming from? And they sound so good as well. It's like... <laughs> that's so crazy. Okay, what an emotional video, because this, like, this is every artist's dream, oh. like, I, I have to emphasize, and the thing is, like, when you hit your peak, and you're, like, a band like the course, and you've hit your peak, and you had really good years, you had, like, five years of, like, constant touring, and everything was crazy, and, and then suddenly everything just kind of goes down, right? Oh, yeah, because they're family as well, man. Yeah, 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 I know. What the fuck? Yeah, so you're, like... It is, it, this is mad. It's mad. And then you have this moment of like coming back to it. It was the late 90s, mate. 1997. Ah, so it 19, was. Runaways a 95 song. Oh my God, I thought that was like in the early 2000s. No, no I think they become immensely popular uh, yeah, in the 2000s. Yeah, I think they were. But they, they're, they're a Didn't 90s they have band. they a song called Breathless they or did, Breathing right. or something like that? Breathless, yeah. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, oh. that's right. It's Andrea, Core, Caroline or Caroline, Sharon and Jim. That's right. 
Yeah, they're a lot like fam family. Unreal. I'm really glad they're still selling out and stuff like that. And, it's like and Kings of Leon, but they're all like yeah, that's right. and family. Um, and cousins and unreal to see it. And also, what a what a brilliant reminder um, for upcoming artists, for dreamers, for people who, you know, the sun is not shining on them right now, but it will shine it on will. you again. It will. Um, and, I, and I hope that that video proves that um, it is worth it, man. Like uh, 100%. Fucking hell. Goodbye.